All right. So last we left off, I believe you were in a, you had just kind of chatted it up with, uh, I believe her name was Stis, leader of the Untamed, a gang, we'll call it, of bugbears, uh, residing in the town of o Oyanis. Yeah. Um, they had kind of, I don't want to say they pushed you off. Uh, how would you guys describe your interaction with them? I think Norvar did a pretty good job. You bought a round of uh, drinks for yeah. them, right? At the Upset Loaf, and um, they seemed... That's right, the Upset Loaf, that was the other place, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, they seemed imp impressed by the respect you showed them. And then um, I think we were sitting there and they were eyeballing us and writing, and one of them was writing a note, right? And he kind of yeah. walked by. And, and he kind of walked, he kind of crumpled it up and just kind of walked on out and then dropped it right next to your table. I believe, I want to say it was Zogchen, mm -hmm. it, but I could be wrong. On that. Yeah, I picked it up really quick. Yeah. And then you were going to unfurl it and go to read it, but then we end it. So yeah. uh, Zogchen, you do unfurl it. Okay. You open it up. Yes. And it has in common straight check. What's up? <laughs> okay. Straight check, I said. Straight check. You know, call it. Yes. It, it was it was folded it was folded too many times. Uh, <laughs> um, the uh, but you um, you unfurl it and open it up and in kind of a it's it's not like the best handwriting, uh, but it is written out in common. Mm -hmm. It says be sure to buy seven more bulbs. Be bulbs, sure. bulbs, like 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 uh like plant bulbs. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Not like light light bulbs, no, please. Yeah, I was about to say, what's going on in your world? <laughs> there are other types of bulbs. Yeah, that is true. Bulbs, okay. Hmm. All right. Seven more. Well, do you want to pass yeah. that around or share with the class? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm letting everyone know. Yeah, I'm not okay. keeping this in so. Be yeah. sure to buy seven more bulbs. Yeah. Bulbs, yeah. Are they still there or did they all like they, they, they walked out. The okay. Thing, uh, put the chairs in and then walked on out. And the, the last one, uh, one of Stis's, uh, it seemed like one of the right-hand men just kind of dropped it on the way out subtly. Mm. Uh, and you guys grabbed it. I feel uh, like it's an insult. <laughs> well, an insult. well, I get code. So, uh, <laughs> do you, do, Zogchen, do you, do, you, do you read it out loud or do you just pass it around or what do you do with it? I pass it around. I'm not reading it out loud. I pass it around. So, uh, you guys kind of pass it around a little bit and um, it does seem like the writing's kind of weird, but can I uh, more barn do stopped. an investigation check on this? Yeah, sure, go for it, man. You investigate it, please. Give me a roll. Suspense is killing me. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I got, I realized I'm on the wrong. Maybe it's not bulbs. Maybe it's something else. It's just misspelled. Or we read it wrong. You got a plus All two right. there, Dominic. Yeah. Okay. So 13. 13. Uh, you take a look at it and I mean, it's a it's a pretty basic little note. Like in terms of the paper, is not impressive. Uh, the the penmanship's kind of a little bit rough at points. You you think that maybe, like, you don't know if they just have kind of a weird technique. There goes Jerry. He'll be back. Uh, uh, he's got to talk to Thor. Uh, but uh, we think his power went out. Is what we were thinking. So that happens. Oh wow! Yeah. But uh, you take a look at it, and you're you're pretty positive that it is something's up with it. It just feels weird the way, like, like the way they do like their L's and their U's just doesn't make sense to you. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of like, there's something kind of off with it. Uh, Morbarn takes it and looks at it, looks at the three of you, and it's kind of like, come on guys, we got a job to do. And kind yes. Of starts pointing out on it, like goes and looks at the note. Starts pointing out little like little tick marks here and there on like the different letters. Oh. And starts kind of cutting through it, and you it all it all it all doesn't doesn't make any sense to you guys, but mm. it picks out that like there's a hidden message in this, um, using their their capacity of thieves can't ah. There's like little symbols hidden in the in the in the letters as it would be. Yeah. 
Um, and it, it kind of goes through and it says, it says, kill <laughs> mole at seven. Kill mole at seven, okay. Yeah. M-O-E-U-L is the name. Okay. Seven. Hmm. And she's like, who the hell's mole? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you, wait, how do you read Thieves' Camp? More Barnes like, how do I not? Like, <laughs> I forget that you're a rogue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very clever. One second, be right back, be like two seconds. So, the killing part won't be hard once we figure out who Mole is. <laughs> but, yeah, um, yeah. Morborn is kind of taken aback by this this element. Of, like, I, I guess they want to make sure we're loyal or something. Like, it seems like maybe a loyalty test, or they they got some dirty work they don't want to do themselves. So, uh, I mean, I don't know. I'm not. But earning their trust might I mean, they seem to be kind of some movers and shakers here in town. So earning their trust might not be a bad move. Mm -hmm. All right. So first off, we should we should determine or figure out Norvar who Mole is. I'm still looking at the page, going, "How come I don't read Thieves' Camp?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, honestly, honestly, um, <sighs> gotta kill somebody, huh? Okay. Killing is what I do. I'm trying not to. I'm trying to be a better person here. Yes. I don't even know who this mule is. I guess we got to figure that out. Yes, you're right. You're right. That is my old life too. So. Well, I mean, you know. This is new trouncer. I think being <laughs> you, I'm on my. Own, I'm on a path of redemption here that I'm trying for myself. But I mean, you know. I stuff like happens. this. I yeah. used to. I used to love murdering people. <laughs> I mean, you know, we all have hobbies. <laughs> I, this um, is true. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Uh, okay. So we got to figure out who this is. Do we uh, chance it by asking the uh, the barkeep? Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. I guess we. You um. Uh, so yeah, the barkeep. Uh, the owner is, is a person named Che. Oh uh, yeah, Che. And Che is kind of chilling out. Um, I can't remember if she was a man or a woman. I can't remember. Man. Man. And Che is Che is hanging out and just kind of taking care of business and letting people drink and such like that. Uh, the people, folks seem to tip pretty well, actually. Like, respectable for how, how crappy this place is. Seem to tip decent. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you see Che kind of is working the bar. Uh, it's uh, He's got, like, you know, two people on staff kind of handling stuff. Um, dwarf for the human, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, I take a look at Morbarn and, the, and, uh, and Tyrellius, and I go, uh, I'll go ask. <laughs> <laughs> while, you're, while you're up there, get another round of drinks. Okay, sorry there's no sherry. But, um, <laughs> they, do, right. they, don't, they don't serve, serve fancy boy drinks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the upset loaf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fancy boy. Um, uh, so yeah, okay. right. you, you go and you approach the bar and there stands this uh, kind of rough looking dude. Um, it reminds you a little bit of the bartender from, from the cantina in Star Wars New Hope. Uh, but he, you know, he's, he's decent shape, got a little bit bigger, a little thicker dude. Um, and, uh, you know, he's a side. You, you gonna buy another round for, for another mover and shaker here in town? Uh, well, I think I'm gonna buy another round for my table, so a whole another round of the same, for sure. Um, hey, I gotta ask you, can I? Sure, they're back. You, you know, you know everybody in town, right? You know everyone that comes around here. <laughs> I try not to know him too well, but I know him uh, well enough. Yeah, have you ever heard of a guy named Mule? Moel? Moel, that's it. That's the name All right, I heard. Yeah, Moel. Yeah, I'll, I'll spell it on the chat for you, so that, that's how it's spelled. Moel. Yeah, Moel. Moel. Yeah, I know Moel. He comes in here all the time. He just, uh, just walked out, actually. Oh no, kidding! Was he? Yeah, uh, yeah I thought oh. I thought you're you're you bought a round for him. Oh no, kidding! I just honestly, I just bought a round for the other one. The only one I met was Stis. That's the only one I talked to. Yeah, Stis is the one in charge. That's the oh. one. Yeah, Mole's one of uh one of her um one of her uh better better 
muscle. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. What, what do you want about Moel? No, I was just sort of figuring out because she was mentioning his name, but I didn't get that that was one of the group, you know? I was just uh, trying to figure out who it was. She was making all this reference. Yeah. What, me. Well, I'm like an affable type, you know? I'm just going along with the conversation, so I didn't know who it was. Yeah, I know. Moel keeps things on the straight and narrow for them. Deals a lot of... <sighs> Look, he's looking... He's he, he puts the four drinks up on the bar and looks up at you and is kind of like, and you notice people tip well here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I pull out the money. I think I only have um, four silver pieces. How much is around? Was it last time? How much uh, for your there? for what you have right there, it'll uh, I'll run you this. Uh, that'd be two silver pieces for that for the round. Okay. Right, Drink ourselves broke. What, trying to remember where the uh, money is. Okay, there it is. So how much is it? Uh, two silvers for the round. Two silvers. All right, got it. Paid. Okay, so you pay up, no problem. Um, oh, yeah. And I slide it over. And then I look back at him and I was two, like... Just the two silver? I add, I add another okay. silver. Okay. Yeah, Moel. Uh, it just kind of does kind of escort duty here in town for the uh, the caravans when they're coming through. Uh, does uh, he does air quotes inspections? <laughs> the, you know the axle tax stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Um, he's a legit guy, though. You say he's on the up. <laughs> kind of laughs as legit as anyone the untamed are. Well, you know, mm. it's it's a sliding scale for all of us. Fair enough. Uh, uh, what do you want? Yeah, well, I don't have a well. How is um, how is Stis? Is she a good leader? Is she popular? She's popular enough to me, and everyone's sitting around hanging out with her. Yeah, she's been in charge here for about as long as the uh, the untamed have been residing here. And uh, be honest. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. For the information, uh, anything else that you could tell me about the Untamed in case I, because it looks like we might be doing I wouldn't something. want to cross them, but yeah, they're, they uh, they play pretty close to the chest, I know that. Okay, fair enough. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. So I take the drinks back to the table going, <sighs> what happened? You know, are you sure there's nothing in that thieves can't that says anything about money or advantage? Well, apparently Mole is one of those fucking bugbears. And uh, apparently he works for Stis. He was one of the ones we bought drinks with. He was just there and walked out. So apparently there's some sort of plot among them to take out one of their own. I'm speaking kind of quietly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, what kind of treachery so, is this? Yeah. I don't know, but I'm not sure. Like, you know, on one hand, I want to go further with the Untamed. But another, it's like, hey, man, you're hiring us to kill. But one, there's a price. Two, there's got to be a reason, right? Or, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we don't care about that. I try to, I'm trying to care about that. Perhaps it's, a, perhaps it's a test of sorts. Or what if, I mean, which bugbear gave it to us? What if we... Uh... It, it, it was definitely her right-hand man, and he was the one that wrote it. Mm-hmm. So he's probably not mobile. <laughs> Maybe he is. No, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, so perhaps, so, so Zonchen apparently yeah. was uh, shoegazing uh, for so, a little bit. What yeah, the fuck so, just happened? So basically, this letter. So check this out. I know you mm. were just admiring your cod piece there for a while. <laughs> I, I was. He was, was a new visions of cod pieces and dancing his skull. <laughs> so just mesmerized. Our, our, our multiple utility gnome here knew figured out that 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 note was written with thieves cant in it, which oh. no one has ever taught me, and I am offended. And it basically says, be sure to buy more, seven more balls, says kill Moel at seven. That's what it Who's says. Who's Moel? Moel is exactly. one of those fucking bugbears that just walked out that apparently works for Stis. So one of the, her, right, like, so one of the, that dude that's hanging out with her all the time is asking us to kill someone else in that group. Why wouldn't they just kill him themselves? Well, it would probably. I can see why. 
Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, maybe it's like a political thing. You know, you have the whole group. You don't want to eliminate stuff. But then again, that turns us into villains. Or what if it's a, a test of some sort and we were to confo- come forward with this note and be earnest and tell, tell Sist, uh, they would say, you're trustworthy. You know, I appreciate your lack of <laughs> and that your level of honesty that you proceed through the world. I love it. I'm living for it. However, I don't think we want to confront anybody about this. It's mm. essentially us trying to make a decision. Do we want to get in good with Stis mm-hmm. and her right-hand man and kill this guy that we don't know? Or do we want to... No. I'll be honest. Um, while I fight my better nature of being a murder hobo, uh i don't think my character is on the level of an, an assassin at the moment uh what's up i don't think any of like this is me <laughs> yeah. He's like yeah I don't think yeah, any yeah, of us yeah yeah are, other than the centaur he likes killing i'm a killer but not an ass- i'm not a sneaky killer i'm a killer in the ring <laughs> with the audience <laughs> yeah yeah I, mean, I don't know how comfortable i would be with just killing someone just to get in the good graces of a bugbear. My other question is, what time is it now? <laughs> um, it's about it's about 2 p.m. 2 p.m., okay. It gives us what, some hours. When, when, when were we supposed to kill him? Seven. Seven, seven bells. <laughs> oh, is that the bulbs? Is that seven? Yeah. It said, the, the message said, um, kill Moel at seven. And I wonder if they would return to this cantina or bar at seven, or if they just I, left and we should... I'm assuming they're going to return here. I mean, mm-hmm. that's a big jump, but that's what I'm thinking. Maybe we should write a note that just says no. <laughs> <laughs> Very direct. Huh? <laughs> like see, 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 how that, let's see how it plays out. I uh, don't, man, I don't know. I feel like there's something going on here, and we need to, to get in on this, but I don't know. Keep the note. We don't dispose of the note, for sure. That yeah, is more, more Martin's like pocketed the note. Okay. Um, hmm. Wow, Morburn is you're so quiet and efficient <laughs> right now. Um, <laughs> so, uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I think we should definitely be back here around six or seven to see what's going on. But I most mean, definitely, we, deci- we have to make a decision here mm-hmm. about how well we want to get in uh, on with this group. I mean, that's well, really why do we want to get in with them so well? Well, we're just trying to find out information about caravans here, but I mean, I wasn't, I didn't come to town to assassinate people, even bugbears, yeah. who are not and, my favorite, but something's and, going yeah. on here. Maybe and they were the major, like, contr- the not players. the major gang, but the big players in this town, too, if we were to get more information about who we're looking for. What if we just kick his ass? Oh, we could, yeah, yeah, we could bind him up. I, I mean, met. I'm not opposed to roughing someone up. Well, yeah, weren't there I mean, 12 of them? Well, apparently he's going to be on, like, there's going to be an opportunity at seven. But the question mm-hmm. is, like, his people obviously want to kill him. So he's got something going. I, I don't know. I'd kind of like to talk to him. I mean, I'm not saying let's kick his ass. Maybe we can reason with him. Maybe we can charm him. Mm-hmm. Maybe we can talk to him. But I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, it's not a bad idea. I mean, clear, you know, out of character. Clearly, this is an adventure hook. But I, my character would also struggle with murdering someone. Yes. Well, I would be careful when we talk to him not to be like, yo, so why does someone want to kill you at 7 o'clock? Yeah. Don't so leave the negotiation to make it, to make make it that. 8 o'clock. <laughs> so, 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 context, did you learn my name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Jog Jen, do you think it, that we read about you? <laughs> some of us in this party that might not be subtle and actually just be honest and open? I slowly look at the centaur. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm direct. Yeah. Don't ever change. <laughs> um, that said, uh, I don't know. There's something going on here, and I don't know how much we want to get involved with, but we also we do need to find out where these fucking wizards are. We could also, um, do we, should we tail them as they left? If we see what they, perhaps where they went? Or we could go outside and uh, see what caravans have arrived and maybe we could find out more information about this Moel. 
Well, you're about other as groups. conspicuous as a bugbear yourself, so <laughs> I don't know if you'd be the one to follow, nor should you. I mean, if we're going to make a decision about following somebody, I think they're already gone. <laughs> yeah, the bugbears are the, they're, they're both scattered to the wind. Yeah, but I like, I like the way you think. Mm. Um, I don't know. I would probably send David the gnome or myself in terms of following, or the ranger who's no longer, who's not here right now. She's, yeah, fair, she's, yeah, she's taken off. She's so uh, stealthy. We missed her. Actually. We lost her. I just Perhaps have her, I, I have her back at the at my father's place. Yeah, She's hanging out there. Perhaps your uh, cod piece is uh, ready. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, that skull. That skull's gonna take a lot of polish. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I wish there was somewhere else we could go to find out more about the untamed, and I wish there was some other option that we had here, but right now, this well, is the you could, so weird game that we have. Are, you, you did hit up Che a little bit, and Che kind of gave you the connection, but you're also, you don't know if you want to shit where you eat. Yeah. Uh, the the idea of talking about some of the caravans, because they do kind of deal with the, um, it seems like the, the untamed kind of keep tabs on who comes in and out of the town. Right. So you That's might be able to find some information there. Yeah, maybe we'll learn that there's um, some internal conflict in, in the untamed. Well, in the bugbear clear, I would, hierarchy. I would or say like, it definitely is, but all we'll, oh, I don't need to kill anybody, but I also don't want to make any enemies here. But I do want to get information and these people seem like they know it. Um I wonder, is there anywhere in town that we could take a look at some of these caravans that are come in? Oh yeah, people? yeah. There's a whole, there's a whole kind of like, um, there's different places where they're getting maintained. There's places where they're largely parked. Um, you know, what we should do is we should see. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. You're all really boring. I think <laughs> what we should do is possibly check out who maybe some of these caravans. Maybe we can do another step of investigation and see if anybody's signing up to go. I mean, we have some time to kill before we have to supposedly kill someone. So maybe we can spend some time with um, coming up with alternative ways of getting some information. This isn't the only way to. Mm -hmm. uh, this isn't the only way to carve the statue, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. We could talk to the valet of the caravans who parks them. We could talk to. Uh... <laughs> well, I mean, somewhere there's a merchant that runs this whole thing. I mean, yeah, we can talk yeah, to them about any people coming in and out. There's there's like caravan. There's like a merchant. There's a caravan master. There's workers on it. There's guards on them. Um, yeah, I mean stable That's employees, insane. all that kind of stuff. There's tons of folks you could you could talk so, to. Them. And he was a tax collector too, right? Uh, Chase said, or he collected. Uh, no, no, no. Well, oh. we're, we're, God, where are they run some scams on, on some of the newer characters. Oh, okay. Or like, yeah. Be like, yeah, you know, you got to pay the actual tax or some shit like that, you know? Okay, right. Okay. It's good to know. Is, is just <laughs> one of the guys, Moel just shakes it down. So let's, how about this? Let's go investigate some more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know we're not natural detectives, but let's finish these drinks and get the fuck out of here. Take out, I take ready. out my magnifying glass and I'm like, I'm ready. <laughs> no, you don't. All right, <laughs> I will say that somewhere along as we make our way, if we pass any sort of, uh, if, let me see, I, I want to do something without the others. Hold on. I'm going to write you something. Yeah, sure, Rush. Uh, it's Sometimes. nothing terrible. It's nothing terrible, guys. But it's just something I, I, that he would want to. Oh, you're passing us a note. Yeah, here we go. Let's see. Is it a Sin thieves cat? You learned it already. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Do you right. like me? Yes or no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right. So you guys kind of like uh, head outside, uh, looking towards around, looking around. Um, there definitely is kind of a, a large area where there's probably, I don't know, but a majority of the caravans are kind of hanging out and chilling out for the day, restocking, resupplying, stuff like that, uh, getting axles fixed, wagon tongues repaired, yoked, re yoked. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, so uh, Norvar kind of like. Uh, you know, you see, you, you see this, you see this kind of stuff like that. Uh, Tyrolis and Zogchen. Um, Morbarn is going to stay back at the um, the uh, upset 
Loaf. Loaf, yeah. I, I almost called the upset turd. Uh, <laughs> you want to go back to it? <laughs> but the upset loaf. Um, <laughs> you know, you just keep an eye out for any, any if, if anyone comes back here or, or the untamed come back in. So, okay. All right. So what are you guys going to do? Let's head over to um, where, let's see where the, uh, let's see if we can find where all the uh, caravans come in. Not a problem. Pretty easy spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you head over to this kind of caravan grounds. Um, they're, they're largely kind of like in these kind of sections uh, set up like they're, there's like a, they're kind of all parked adjacent. Um, they kind of have a, an area for uh, the, like animals to get revitalized. They can, you know, get fed, uh, taken care of, just getting repaired here and there. Um, it's pretty active. Some folks are kind of hanging out, whatever. Um, you walk, you're, as you're kind of walking in, uh, I mean, you get approached almost immediately. Uh, a woman comes up and asks, are, 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 you, are you looking to, to guide in the caravans? Oh. Um... Don't expect me to pull your caravan. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of looks too weird. Like, no, I, I wouldn't dream of it. I, I, I'm just looking for some, some hands to, to help us out. Oh, okay. where are you head? Where are you headed? We're gonna we're heading out to the coast, pick up some uh, more supplies from uh, some some imports from Niltasu. Oh, no kidding! Uh, has there been uh, a, anybody trying to have you guys? Not to say we're actually. I mean, we might be, but we're actually in town looking for some people too. Have you uh -huh. heard of anybody coming in and out on your caravan? Anybody signing up? Uh, to get sneak to, that's trying to keep a low profile or trying to get out of town. Anybody been around like that? No, nothing, nothing like that. Just, just I'm just trying to get some help. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, for beans, uh, what the fuck are you talking about, son? <laughs> yeah, how far away? Like, I'm literally, I'm just looking for people that want to work, and you're in the area yeah. where people work, and like I'm asking you, are you interested in work, and you're like. You get some suspicious motherfuckers around here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you know, like, you know, it's like going on a job interview. Do you get some suspicious people here once in a while? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> who's your weird, yeah, who's your strangest customer? Who's your strangest customer? Can I talk to them? How long are you, uh, uh, how long is your trip going to be? Uh, it comes co Coast's about a four day trip from here. Yeah. Five, four or five days, depending on how we do. But, uh, you know, we're, we're paying, we're paying some, some coin for it. Mm. When are you leaving? Oh, we're gonna leave tomorrow morning. So I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, kind of a press spot here for some folks, but yeah, you know, I don't, I'm not doing quite as well as a few of these other folks that have uh, plenty of a uh, little bit more um, muscle on their on their hands. We, we, I kind of came into town a little underwhelmed. Yeah, no, I hear you. Uh, we weren't necessarily looking for a job, but. Uh... Can I get back to you? Where can I find you? And then let me talk to everybody. Oh, yeah. No, you can find me. My, my name is Pastilla. Okay. Pastilla? Just, uh, Pastilla, yeah. Just hang, I'll, I'm hanging out over here. If you point to like a, like a set of um, covered wagons, like a set of three covered wagons, mm -hmm. um, you see like there's about three other, there's about three or four other men over there just kind of, uh, and women just hanging out, like uh, kind of checking stuff, tightening th things up. Nice. Okay. Organ, organ trail. Trail. No, really Hard to that. I mean, they may have a short door on the side, but never look like they're going to be able to hold up a fight. All right. Uh, thank you. Well, you know, if we decide that we're uh, looking to uh, guard a caravan, I will let you know. We'll come find you. Uh, I know when you're leaving, so we'll be there soon. We'll talk okay. to you. Okay. He's like, thank you. Wave you off. Yeah. Do you, do you guys want to do something? As we walk away, I was like, do you guys want to do something like that? No. <laughs> it, it could be a it could be a safer option than uh, killing this Moel, or <laughs> since the caravan's leaving tomorrow, we could kill Moel and we always have a way out. <laughs> Good point. But so, um, I'm up for either. And we only have yeah. one silver piece left, right? So we'll... no, we have some money. We okay. have. Uh... Currently, we're sitting on 15 gold and one silver piece, but we will have to pay it back at some point. So okay. making money is not a bad idea. But at the same time, this is very different. You know, this isn't our quote unquote mission. Right. They didn't exactly give us any money either for our holy mission. 
mm -hmm. that I'm still not sure why I'm doing, but I'm I'm in for a penny, in for a pound so yeah, far. Um, so you know, I just didn't want to be around the googly eye bug thing that wanted my cum. Listen, so <laughs> <what> is, uh, <laughs> you know. No I more mean, X Files for me. Just so you know, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that clip out and I'm gonna post it all over all over online. Read Dominic. Dude, so. go ahead, context, because <laughs> I stand by that. You know, in life, <laughs> I stand by that. In life, I don't want to be hanging out with googly eye stuff that won't. Uh, it's not the way to get it. <laughs> you might want to sweet talk me a little bit. Yeah, or, yeah I, I just gotta ask you to play vampire. All right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was a time and a time and place for that. Yeah, right? It was of its time. Yeah. So, okay, 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 okay. So, what? Shit. Maybe I, there is an option that we can do instead of murdering this Moel, we oh, can uh, somehow isolate him. and like, and like abduct him or make them you're, think he's you're, dead. You're definitely noticing that there's a, there's a disparaging in terms of the caravans. Like some are like the one you just talked to seems like kind of a small one, um, but there's uh -huh. definitely kind of a big mover shaker type one here. I mean, you're talking like the guy's probably got like 15 wagons worth of stuff here. Mm -hmm. um, big organization. Uh, they're pretty well looks like they're pretty well together. Um, there's a few other ones that are kind of that are kind of uh, maybe between under like under five wagons deep, but this one's definitely the big one. Mm. Norbar, you should go talk to that big one. I bet. See where they're going. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a people person. Mm -hmm. You are sadly okay. enough. Yeah. I you guess I am. Fierce yeah. leader. Yeah. yeah. You notice that Zogchen Zogchen's not doing well in the sun. It's yeah. Definitely, like Zogchen's like like sweating and like. Squeaking. And I'm also around people, and I'm not used to that. You were not. Okay. Um, some all right. Well, maybe uh, Murder Incorporated should all go under some shade, and I will catch up to you in just a minute. Okay. Yeah, we'll stay. I'll, me and uh, Zog Channel stand aside. All right, so you, or, you, you're like you guys want to go back to meet up at the uneven, uh, not the uneven loaf. You guys yeah, want to the uneven loaf? <laughs> <laughs> the uneven turd, upset loaf, or the uh, father's place. I mean, if you guys want to get out of the sun. I'm just gonna hit up this caravan and find out what's going on. Okay. I'm yeah. Well, and let me get yeah. this straight: none of you want to actually like killing Moel is still on the table, but none of you want actual work with a caravan that doesn't require murder. Uh, yeah, but I mean, either. you don't need a day job. I mean, we, we kind of gotta get this done. I mean, yes, yes. <laughs> we don't Good have work. much money. We can find it. I'm with you. We need. I guess we need the most direct route to I get. I mean, we could to... completely sabotage the DM's plot and just say we're all going to get you, day labor you, for you, the next six months. You will never sabotage my plot. Here. <laughs> no, I'm serious. My players have tried, and I embrace <laughs> the sabotage. It is now it is no longer a flaw; it is a feature. Nice. Right. Okay. Um, let me go talk to these people. And sure. What are you guys going to do? You're just going to hang out in the shade? Yeah, we'll hang, it, hang out in the shade. I'll kind of fan. Do you, oh, thank you. you. Norma, you start, you start approaching uh, the caravan and um, you can see people are working, but it's almost as soon as you start approaching uh, a man carrying a uh, uh, like with a pretty good size scimitar at his side approaches you with his uh -oh. hand up and is like, excuse me, what uh, what 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 business might you have? Oh, actually, uh, I am in town for. Uh, I'm actually looking to talk to somebody who's in charge of the caravan. He kind of like says, uh, "What's your business with the Albini Trading Company?" Well, I was actually kind of. Uh, I'm in town uh, representing some very powerful interests and uh we are looking for somebody and i'm wondering if you have any information on anybody who may have joined your caravan to come into the city or is trying to join your caravan to get out of the city and my benefactor would be very interested in talking to your benefactor to see if there's anybody that matches that description make it make a persuasion check with disadvantage Uh, 
<laughs> okay. So you, so you choke. And well, I mean, I, I mean, I got the, you know, I rolled a one. Yeah, but yeah, it's yeah. A, little, a little pretty rough. So, yeah. so you, you kind of, you kind of do this with the, with this guard, and the guard's kind of looking to you and says, "Mr. Albini's not, um, doesn't like have his time wasted. What do you have to make it worth his while?" Well, I have a number of things, my friend. Uh, I have, I have donations to your fine establishment. My benefactor can be a powerful friend or a very powerful enemy. We're just looking for information. That's all. The hell you're talking about? They don't. They have no idea like, what the hell you're talking about. Like, <laughs> like, like okay, this, this this benefactor is powerful. Who the hell is the benefactor? What the what the hell is a benefactor? Like, they don't understand. Like, do you work for somebody here? Are they kind of looking around different caravans? Like. I lean in forward and I go, listen, asshole, I work for Zahash and I'm trying to find somebody he wants to find. Right, I need you to make a deception check. Oh, okay. isn't Zahash dead? No, no Zahash is not dead. Oh, he's not. Okay. We have somebody else's skull. Different yeah. You have Zarzok's skull. Oh, yeah. Zarzok. One, one, one of his lieutenants, yeah. I rolled uh, 15 plus 5 is 20. Okay. Roll an intimidation check with advantage. You said the Z word. Oh. Roll two tens, so intimidation, it's 15. Okay. So they kind of take a second and uh, yeah, yeah, okay. And uh, he, he, well, he saunters off real quick and he kind of talks to someone. They talk to someone else. You see this, um, Middle-aged gentleman, uh, you're guessing this is Mr. Alvini uh, approaching. Uh, he's wearing some pretty nice clothes, actually. It looks like he's, he's decently, uh, he's got kind of um, darker skin, like uh, kind of a mustache, wearing kind of purple and yellow clothes, like, like, a, like a mustard almost. Um, and he says, uh, and he, he does approach you with uh, definitely some backup. He's got like two guys, two bodyguards that are sizable. Um, mm -hmm. And you can see he's got all a few of the other keeping an eye on him. It says, uh, "My man says you're uh, you work for some bigger parties, and you're interested in talking to me." And I big, take a big smile and I go, "Thank you for taking time out of your day to come see me and give me a hand here. I appreciate the kindness. I know that you're a busy person, but I just was wondering. The people I represent are looking for." have sent me here on a mission. And all I'm doing is wondering if, have there been any passengers that have joined your caravan recently coming into town or out of town? My benefactor would greatly appreciate the simple question being answered. That's all, that's all we need. We're not trying to trouble you and we're not trying to involve you. I merely am looking around. Your guard asked me a number of questions and I don't want to waste your time any more than my time needs to be wasted. Kind of looks back at the caravan. Just, we came in with everybody, everybody that started with us is with us. Nobody uh, particularly. I'm not, not a big fan of variables and move my, move my wares around. Can I do, can I check to see? I mean, yeah, you can, can I do a, sure. yeah, he did. Sure. Uh, Which one? Insight. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking roll, uh, insight. That's a seven. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't get any read off the guy. Um, he's kind of like, yeah, this is my. I, he does seem professional. Mm -hmm. uh, like he he has a decent amount of wealth, and he's interested in keeping it. Um, and part of that is trying to make sure that he doesn't. Um, he doesn't. He definitely does not like variables. He doesn't like having a lot of wild cards and stuff like that. Well, Obviously, I don't mean to trouble you, but have you heard of any other characters or any other caravans that have talked about any strange people? Let's just say strange individuals that might have entered town lately or are trying to get out of town. You mean someone who's never, I've never seen in this town before asking a lot of weird questions? Other than me? Exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, pot, meat, kettle. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you, um, he kind of says there and says, listen, this is wasting my time. I don't have time for this. 
you you right. don't seem to type. If you don't have any answers. Keep the. If you don't have any answers, that's all I'm here for. I'm not trying to trouble you any more further. But thank you for your time. I appreciate it. And he goes back to the caravan for a waste of time. They're kind of muttering crap like that. One of the one of the bigger guards kind of like looks at you and kind of snorts a little bit before he walks off. <laughs> Remember that guy. Don't do that. <laughs> I just smile. I smile at him and I go, mm -mm -mm. and then I walk off. Okay. I was like, that was a waste. Of, and then I go back to him. I was like, that was a fucking waste of time. As I'm fanning uh, Zog Shen the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Zog, don't know. Like a, yeah Zog we look like real. We look real intimidating. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, as far as I can tell, there's no no information there. Mm. I don't know. You seem to be running into a dead end as far so, as people. So as you down. as you kind of walk off, um, the uh, the woman you talked to earlier, uh, I totally forgot her name. Oh, I wrote it down. Dude, it was awesome. Pus Pusa. It was a not Pusa. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was B E S I A. Bessia. Bessia. Yeah, I think it was Bessia. Okay. Um, I'm like, a, thank you for writing it down, and I yeah, just had no, it wrong. No, <laughs> I just wrote this down. Her name is Pussy. And, yeah, like, no, Pussy Pussy. and I was like, what the hell? Um, <laughs> what were you listening to? Yeah, Bessia kind of comes back. And says, um, Bessia. She's like, well, you, you talked to Mr. Alvini. Um, that, that's like, she's like, he's, whenever he's in town, it's really, really hard to get help. Yeah, I don't know where it is. Like none of the guards here in town will like will even talk to us. That's why when you, I was really hoping maybe you and your friends could help us out, but perhaps we should. Well, lady, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> um, perhaps yeah, we should help. No, we're technically not guards no. or caravans. That's not the kind of work we're doing. Basically, I'm a miss, I'm in town. We're in town on a mission. We're trying to find locate different people who might have come into town that have nefarious intentions. Oh. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been asking, trying to I mean, figure out if anybody's been joining caravans or asking someone, to leave. Uh, you know, weird characters other than myself asking questions, basically. No, I just, nothing really, nothing like, nothing people, I haven't seen anyone new around here. Okay. Just, you know. Any known smugglers or caravans who smuggle? Uh, she's like, I, I really try not to stay in people's business. I mean, but some of that starts happening. I, I mean, look, she's like, I've heard rumors about Mr. Alvini, but I don't, I can't tell you anything for sure. Yeah. But you don't get, you don't get to have that many places and have that, that much security without, uh, reasons. Yeah. Like, actually, are there any tieflings around? Uh, so real quick, in my world, there are no tieflings. Never mind. I didn't say that then. No. <laughs> there are no drow and there are no tieflings. But no, you don't, see, you don't see any racist stuff. Because um, <laughs> they tend to peddle on in information, but uh, I, uh, you, if, as far as information goes, uh, there are some other. Uh, you do see some like work hands, maybe, but like I mean, definitely aren't like making the most money. They could definitely be persuaded with some coin pretty quick. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure. Get the working man. I mean, Norvar's got our money. Yes. Norvar does have the purse strings. I think this is a good, good maybe perhaps, I feel like this uh, Alvini character you spoke to, it does seem a bit shady. Yeah, uh, but I mean, being a dick doesn't necessarily mean you know True. Stuff. I mean, I, mean I, I this was just me rabbing at straws as far as trying to see people coming into town. It doesn't necessarily have to lead anywhere. There could be other places that a wizard type could go. Lich, are these all liches or they? They're, they're no, they're, they're, they're mortals. Like they're mortals. okay. They're so I mean, there's got to be some place that wizard people would go to lay low in this town. We just yes. I mean, mm -hmm. um, we just haven't found it yet. And somehow uh, we've managed to get embroiled as possibly caravan guards. We've managed to almost be, we we have an offer to become murderers in a gang politics for bugbears. We're unwelcome in the brothel. <laughs> well, well two of you are i mean occupationally yeah. i think we're doing pretty well but uh, i mean there's plenty of jobs mm -hmm. yeah it's true there's a lot of caravans coming in and out so it's true he, any 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 number one of these could be but yeah so you you kind of like you're kind of looking around um wait i have an idea really quick please 
Just a possibility. What if we find uh, Mobius? What's his name? Uh, it was Moel. Moel. What if we find him? If we need to, we can rough him up a little bit. Find out what's going on, why they want to kill him. Uh, and maybe we could just kind of like slip him out of town. Kind of tell people that we took him out. Yes. And get in some good graces. There you go. Perhaps just he put, can be. Put, just, right. just putting that yeah. out. Yeah, we, so we basically one. save his life, yes. Yes, we, we pretend to murder him. and we. Or he could be like a huge murdering psychopath, and then we could kill him. But I'm just... <laughs> But that's also hope. We're hoping that we will capture. We will find Moel alone. Mm. I say we grab him and see what we can find out from him. Agreed. But either way, his his days are numbered in his current gang. So you know, we could either kill him or we can get yep. him out of there. So. Yeah. Imagine what kind of ally he would be if he knows that he was going to be killed by his own gang, but we we spared his life. Exactly. You have some positive, that's some positive thinking there. Uh, You're rubbing off on me, Norvar. I want to emphasize that I do not think highly of people, <laughs> <laughs> but I like you guys. But okay, all right. So let's, um, let's try and hook back up with some of our party. And I guess we're going to be at the uh, upset, loaf. upset loaf at uh, seven, but we should um, get there so probably at six. So yeah, so as you kind of walk away from the caravan area, this uh, this one table hand says, "Hey, like guys, I'm you know, sorry about 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 all that here. It's 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 rough. It's rough when Mister Alvinis comes. Uh, Mister um, Alvini Alvini. comes through town. Why? Uh, what's up with Alvini? What's his what's his hey, deal? He doesn't like anybody else doing the business. He wants to be the only the only uh, show in town. Yeah." Yeah, no, 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 no worries. I just uh, have you uh, listen. He looks at us as competition. Though. I pull out a silver coin. Mm -hmm. I was like, Have you seen okay. anything? Speak freely. Uh, anything strange going on? Any people coming into town that are weird? And then I look at our party and I go, Are these the nice? <laughs> he, he takes a silver coin and he says, um, the, the, there's some weird stuff here once in a while. I, I what do you mean by weird stuff though? That, that's a pretty that's a lot of weird stuff that goes on in caravans. What, what kind of well, weird stuff board? Smuggling. Puts a coin in his pocket. Yeah, technically speaking, I'm looking. We're looking for any strange individuals that have come to town. Any word of people coming into town or trying to get out of town? That's what we're looking for. Oh, uh, nothing like that right now. Uh, it's, it's mostly just been kind of good, but when Mr. Alvini comes through, he, he makes sure no one hires anybody else. Right. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. He, he's trying to choke the competition here a little bit, so everybody's kind of waiting to leave. And nobody can really leave town. None of the caravans can really leave town until he leaves. Gotcha. But I think he's heading out this morning. Uh, he's heading out this morning? Then tomorrow morning? Yeah. Yeah. He, as we scheduled. Do you, you know of any... Um, I can't believe I'm going to ask this. Do you know of any hangouts for traveling wizards? <laughs> wizards? Yeah, those that are... Yeah, no, I, I know you're talking about. I, I don't know, nothing like that. There's not too many wizards in town. Uh, I no? mean, there's some... No, not really. Like, it's not... You'd probably want, like, one of their universities or something over, like, uh, in OCL or something like that, like, um, Svelte Hemi or something like that. But that's, that's a long, long ways out. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of wizards out here. It's mostly um, just trade and car caravanning. Yeah, it makes Did sense. Did you art? <laughs> what? But that's about it. Did you say a wizard eating par? Did you no, a bard. A there's, like, there's like some bard to come through and come off. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bards, bards are. are... <laughs> mm, okay. Um, I just I just sh shake my head when I hear bard. He yeah. doesn't like um, you. He, uh, he doesn't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and there goes the arm. All right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, he takes a he takes a second. He's like, uh, yeah, no one weird coming in our town. But what 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 brought you guys? What, who who are you, are you looking for? Wizards? Yeah, well, looking That's for our some king, people. baby. We're looking for some people that are trying that might be moving through town. 
they're not from here. They'd come into town. They're going to try like, and get like, out of town. I don't know anything about people moving in out town. Maybe they have a lot of money or coin, or maybe I, they're disguised. I do know about stuff moving out of town. Yeah? Like, what kind of stuff? It's like, uh, kind of has his hand out subtly. Oh, I'm sorry. Give him some money. He's not enough. I was like, tell you what, if you give us something that we can use, I pull out a gold coin. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, so I'll, uh, this is a bet. Just like, um, <laughs> he's like, look, he's like, you, you'll, you'll, you'll protect me, right? Like, if, if, if someone comes to push to the shove, you'll, you'll make sure I'll get me and my family be okay. Oh, yes. And Zogchen's like, no. <laughs> yeah, Zogchen's like, yes. Zogchen's yes. doing the whole Troy McClure thing, or the, the, the thing. Uh, he's like rolling his yeah, eyes. He's like, there. he's like, there's the truth and the truth. Yeah. You have my word. Make a persuasion check for the advantage so you dog get the point out. Jesus Christ. Uh, with advantage? I, I roll two 20-sided dice. I keep getting the same thing on both. <laughs> no way. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a 14. Okay. Total. Um, he goes, look, the, the Alvini's got kind of a hustle coming through here. Uh, he, he, he's, not, he's not shutting down hiring people because he wants to be the only competition. He's shutting down because he doesn't want eyes on him. But you know, we're all around. You know, he's, he, we gotta watch him, and we have, we have we work here. But he's he's moving some stuff. He probably shouldn't be moving, and uh, I don't he's, think, I don't think he's telling the right parties about it. Or all what people. kind of stuff? Yeah, you know about you know about Calf, right? The the, the Doom, Calf. the Calf, the Doom. Remember? The, so there was a big event called the Doom that came to Calf. And about 20 years ago, across the ocean in this large port city, this like giant tentacle thing. I mean, we're talking like the size, like the size of like three football fields, fucking crashed into the ocean and suddenly out of the sky. Mm -hmm. um, and he's like, and they're supposedly this stuff kind of peeled off of it, like the flesh peeled off of it. And it's called. This is kind of. It's kind of underworld knowledge about it, but it's unclear what it does. But it's referred to as God flesh. So what is what? It's referred to as God flesh. Okay. God uh, flesh. That's kind of like the, like a like a nickname for it or whatever. It is, but it's the stuff that peeled off this thing, and it's it's supposedly highly coveted, and and most places will like. Zahash would like kill like he, he would have his people come in and kill him if he had like he would come in like rain, fire, and hell on this, on this place to get some of it, apparently, or people are rather mm -hmm. um, But he's like, but the kid's like saying, like, I, think he, I, I think he's moving a little bit of this. Uh oh. So perhaps, yes, perhaps he's smuggling. I, so he That's one way to find our, our person. Do you, know when, do you know when he's uh, when he's going to be loading up and heading out tomorrow morning, right? But, yeah, there's still a few more things to load up, but um, yeah, they're heading out early in the morning. He's like, look, he's like, I, I'm talking to you guys too long, man. He goes, he goes hey, all good. I give him the gold coin. Uh, yeah, he's, yeah, he's just, just keep if you watch him, watch him. Right? Just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what's going on with it, but I don't think he's on the up and up. Is he hiring any more um, guards or people? No, to... he doesn't hire anyone else out, but oh, he does okay. meet with people once in a while. So, but yeah, well, um, but he's like, that's, if he is doing that stuff with bad news, I, I don't I don't think the untamed would like them moving that stuff to the town. Not without a substantial payment. Uh, right, right. Okay. I gotcha. Thanks for the help, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like he's a, he's a, yeah, just just remember 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 Ross when when when, when stuff goes down. Remember me. Ross. 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 Ross like yeah. R A S C. Okay. Ross. Yeah, it's not yes. Ross, like he's like I'm fucking <laughs> <friends or something. laughs> Don't spell don't spend your gold to coin too freely. It'll draw attention to yourself. All right. Cool. Yeah, so he, he buggers off and he goes off and like starts working on some other shit. His boss kinda yells at him. Interesting. All right, so we so move off from the area and I go, well, what do you guys think about all that? So it sounds like uh Alvini is uh, trading in um, 
mm -hmm. some magical uh, contraband. That only a particular person we might be looking for, master or old, you know, old general might like be interested in. And also we know that the Untamed and Alvini, they would, these two factions would be sort of at odds knowing this stuff is being moved. So that's kind mm -hmm. of interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. The plot thickens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we know that Moel also makes fictitious taxes on things. So they would definitely be upset to know something of this. Well, that's pretty typical. You shake down yeah. some stuff. But maybe Moel is in on this. Yeah, it's true too. All right. Well, I think our next step is to speak to Moel. Yeah, and now it's, a, it's getting a little bit later. So now it's about maybe like uh, 4 p.m. or so. Uh-oh. Yeah. yeah. The time is ticking. We fast walk okay. back to where we're supposed to be. All right. So where are you guys going? Find my well. Okay. Uh, so yeah, back to the upset loaf, I guess. Okay. You go back or to the upset loaf. People are kind of hanging out. Um, there's a... Uh, yeah, you see, you see a few kind of local kind of like clicks, we'll say. Mm -hmm. uh, Chase definitely working. These guys keep it working. They're hanging out. It's going good. More barn saved our table. More barn you saved your table. More barn you saw like comes up and it's like you know playing some cards and having a nice time, with folks. <laughs> cool. 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 All right, we have a winning, winning some money and some games of Pictionary. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so we get uh, we sit down. Yeah, you sit down. Uh, I guess we just need to hang out until figure oh, bears come up. Yeah, Moel. Well, we, I, I have a feeling Moel is going to be the bugbear by himself. Yeah, we're hoping. Yes. And then so, how should we, how should we approach it? You, you guys keep on talking, and one of the help, uh, one of the servers comes by and says, uh, "The un the untamed aren't coming in tonight. I don't know what you're waiting for." Oh yeah, why not? It's not their night. They got business tonight. What, did, what kind Where of business? I, I'm, it beats me, but they they don't come in on uh, they don't come in today. Uh, how about Moel? Does he come in? Well. I just heard. One of the bugbears. I, the yeah, no, I, I know him. He's a nice guy. Uh, tips, tips pretty well. I, um, now you're asking me to hit a customer against another customer, and one of the ones that's good. Uh, but I will. Uh, he, uh, no, he's not coming tonight. No, I mean they were all coming together. Oh, for fuck's sake! Do you know where we could find the untamed? Um, I slide this over. They have their well. They they have their uh, compound facility. Like it's a, you can see, it's a, there's a it's kind of points out the street. You can see it at the door. And just, yeah, if you head up about uh, four blocks, you'll see a set of buildings that kind of have connectors between them. That's where the untamed uh, reside. Them and their families. Okay. All right. Thank you. And I slide mm -hmm. them over. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. So they don't come to clam chowder night or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> this is their off night. Hmm. Do, you know, you, do you notice that everybody speaks sort of highly or not highly, but they don't necessarily say this fellow is that bad, but just interesting. Yeah. Mm. No, I've noticed that too. I guess we would, should we go off to. Yeah. Let's go take a look and see what we can find. Do it. Find. Clearly, they're so you, not. You, you roll down the street, no problem. Daylight still, it's still uh, more more a little bar, more daylight. More barn, one. More barn's like, yeah, I haven't seen the guy come in. I haven't seen any bugbears come in here at all. I, I think they're right. Um, but you guys move down the street. Uh, you approach this this kind of compound uh, of the untamed, and you can see it. It's pretty. It's. I'm not gonna tell you it's good looking. It's definitely like beat up, and you can tell the bugbears definitely use the place. Um, and they live there. You can hear there's a lot of people, there's a lot of them inside. Um, when they said like there's families in there, you can you do see children kind of playing outside, hanging out. Uh, you do see some of the the gang members kind of watching them and making sure they're okay and safe. And um, they're just kind of taking it easy. Um, 
some of them recognize you and say, hey, those are the guys that bought us a drink, you know, and they kind of wave, and the kids kind of wave at you and everything in the streets with their big arms. Uh, they go, oh, uh, no, come on in, come on in. Let's, let's, let's bring, in some, uh, bring in some more family members here. Uh, and one of them points to the, uh, points to you and says, this here's uh, some fine gentlemen that come to visit us. And what the kids kind of start looking at the centaur, they start looking at the duogar, and they're like, oh, that's like weird. Um, I move my tail around for the kids, you know? Yeah, they're like, oh, that's awesome. And like the kids are <laughs> around, like they they have a ball they're kicking around. They want to see, uh, they want, they're, they're really interested in watching a duogar with short legs kick it, and they're interested in watching a centaur with big legs kick it. So, um, yeah, Zogchen's like, no, get bent, kid. <laughs> beat it punk what is a child <laughs> uh, just a potentiality of flesh alright uh, so uh, yeah so they're kind of standing there and uh, they're like you know so what, uh, what brings you out to, what brings you out this play oh just, just uh, we're just walking <laughs> around kind of exploring the city we're still new here so yeah yeah you know, to be quite honest, we weren't even sure that you were here when we found you. It was kind of a surprise for us. Oh no, it's just some, it's just some random, uh, just some kind of you, you, one of you saw you were just seen, but this other one you don't know. Like, oh yeah, they're telling about some strange coming in uh, the uh, the obsidian dwarf and the centaur. I don't see too many of them walking around. No, they're quite conspicuous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is all, he reaches a big pile towards uh, towards uh, Zogchen or Tearless. He's he uh, he's like named Sulskit. Sulskit. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. They, yeah. they call me the Trout, sir. <laughs> he's like, I bet that's I bet that's fun to watch. He's like, no, I'm just like interesting here. name for a uh, for a bugbear. I once knew a bugbear who had a really strange name named uh, Moel. <laughs> is that is that is that a common name around here? Yeah, <laughs> the other name. Yeah, Moel. No, I, we got one out here named named that. Do you uh? Do you meet? Do you I bet he's fun? I bet he's a piece of work like the Moel I used to do. <laughs> oh, he's a piece of work. He's just kind of a uh, I don't know, am, ambitious type. Mm. Mm. Entrepreneurial, he... you'd say, huh? What's that? Entrepreneurial, maybe. Is a good word. I can see that, yeah. You know. Mm. Where's he beside? <laughs> yeah. I'd like to meet this Moel. See if he's like the other Moel I've known in my life. Uh, uh, he's, uh, he's, he's not here right now. He stepped on out for, you know, well, I don't know when he'll be back. Classic Moel move. <laughs> 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 oh my god! I don't even know why that's so funny, but that was really funny. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. So yeah, you know, he's all he stepped, he stepped out. Well, that's out, out well. what, he, what he's up to tonight. But uh, over. yeah. Uh, oh, what's your, what, what, what about your? Where'd you meet your guy at? Oh, you know, in the old gladiatorial pits. Gladiatorial pits. Oh yeah, yeah looks, y'all. He's like. Yeah, We're, he's like, they have those still. <laughs> <laughs> Believe it or not, they do. And try Believe and stay far do. away from it. If I were you, try and stay as far away from it as you can. Yeah, he's kind of like they're kind of taken aback by that. Like you guys all seem like you're up on it, but then he looks at the tier list. He's like, maybe I was the best of the best. And he true. believes you. Yeah, that is true. Uh, you beat me. <laughs> <laughs> and I like put my armor out. That. Put my arm around Zog Chan. I'm like, you want to I don't think man. you can reach. I'm pretty far down. <laughs> That's why I use the trident. All right. Yeah. Uh, it's good for picking up trash. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so the yeah. Shade. Uh, so yeah. So he he's like yeah he's like yeah no uh, gladiatorial pit Moel. That sounds interesting. What uh, was he a bugbear too? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Moel, Moel the bugbear. Oh yeah, that's, that's what he went by. Huh? Yeah, he was quite. Uh, he was quite fierce. I wonder if they're the same person. How long have you known Moel yeah. for? Oh, I wonder what happened to him. Years. When when mm. were you guys in the pits? Or the, uh, the pits? Years, years back. Seems years. like just yesterday. <laughs> it seems. It seems like yesterday. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd really actually like to uh, meet up with him. You said he stepped out. Where does he usually step out to? Uh, he goes and does. He's got some. Uh, he's got to go collect for some of our uh, our, our services that we use. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Where 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 do you think I'd be able to 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 hit him up at? Well, <laughs> there's a. He goes and hits up a few of the caravan camps, but uh, and he also hits up some local um, uh, merchants. So like that kind of kind of does around around town. Cool. Yeah. All right. I kind of I very yeah, slyly cool. look to uh to to transfer over. I'm like, all right. Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Well, thank you so much for hanging out. It's so nice to know you guys are here. If you ever need anything, let us know. Yeah. If you want to start right. start a little one, front yard. One of them says, "Is I'm gonna need another drink soon." It kind of gives you a kind of a. <laughs> I, you know what, and I give him a, a really long, extended, like, bro handshake. Okay. You know. Yeah, they, and you guys, you guys come in, and it's like the whole Dylan, you son of a bitch type thing going on. You guys, oh, muscles. Time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's it's yeah. There's Wait, a lot of flexing. You push away too many of those uh, quill pens. All right. Good to see you, my friend. All right, then I get really serious. I'm like, let's get the fuck out of here. All right. Good fuck job. Shit. Good job, classic Moel. I like that. <laughs> classic, <laughs> classic Moel yeah. move. <laughs> classic Moel. <laughs> what the fuck was that, you guys? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. Let's head over very, to the Let's get the fuck out of here. Clever. Before they're very like, clever. that was weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's go over and find the... Uh, the mob collector, apparently. Let's go find... <laughs> let's go check out the, the... Let's see if we can see the camps, the, the caravan. Camps, you might be over um, there. So yeah, make a just uh, everybody here to make an investigation check. Okay. As you guys look for this, look for, look around for this occurrence. Damn. Rolling terrible. I got a four. Same. Rolling terrible. What does it wait for Zogchen to roll? Eleven. Zog is like mid motion over here. Yeah. It's cashed out. <laughs> Classic Zog, like, like, classic Zogchen. Classic Zogchen, <laughs> frozen in a blur. Yeah. It's just it's like, like, it's like a photograph of Bigfoot. Yeah. I feel like every time I turn around, I can barely see that dwarf. He's all blurry. Yeah. Moving too fast oh, for us. Yeah. Uh, so you guys kind of start looking around, uh, and you don't, you know, you spend maybe an hour it's getting like five, and you, you don't spot anybody. You're kind of asking around. They anyone seen like the collect the the untamed collectors come around? People like, oh, I don't see him. Um, make another roll real quick for the next hour. Hey, there we go. I rolled a twenty. Whatever this oh. is checking. Twelve. It, uh, investigation. Okay. And you so you cut around and you uh you get kind of a handle on it, and someone's like, 22. Yeah, no, they're uh, the collectors. Yeah, they they headed off into um mm -hmm. one of the uh, distill the local distillers out here. Ah, all right. Yeah, I think it's um. Let me see. They they point you. They point you to one. Um, yeah, it's called it's called the earthy uh, the earthy mead. Earthy mead. Mead, mead of the earth. It's called. Mead of the earth. Okay. Mead of the earth. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. Sorry about that. Once again. No, no problem. Our, okay, I thought your power went out, man. Or just. Uh, my, my internet went out. The power's still on for some yeah. weird ass reason. So now, so using my phone. Oh, okay. Um, you you guys see the uh, see you guys kind of miss out on the first hour. But about an hour, you, you kind of some people say, "Oh yeah, they're over at the Earthy Mead," and you kind of take a walk over and you see this distillery, and uh, you can see these three bugbears standing out front, uh, talking to like someone there. Three. Three three bugbears. Yeah. Anybody yeah. have any special bag of tricks on how we can handle three bugbears without? Uh, it's about, without it's about six them? p.m. Six p.m. Well. Okay. Well, I right, guess we so should we just got... maybe we should tail them as best that we can, being that we are a centaur, a obsidian-colored dwarf, and a half-elf. That's suspicious. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Uh, well, if we could separate, <laughs> perhaps we could separate the two. From, well, we don't know which one's Moel even. I mean, maybe by just well, observing. Well, how we about? Tell. I mean, we could go just explicit and just be like, "Yo, Moel." Oh, that's a bad idea. 
don't know. No, no, maybe no, we listen, should... listen, listen. Um, but um, are we are we are we like kind of like a crowded area? Yeah, it's an open town. I mean, people are walking around. Okay, just, listen can, up. That's what we're hard. gonna do. I want to just stay within like where we can see them. But yeah, you can see them distance. I mean, you got without a doubt. So trouser, since you're kind of higher up, take a look, and then let's try to find some coverage and just like shout out. Be like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and then see who turns around. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, okay. All right. So, Trouncer, you kind of start, like, trying to blend, you're kind of looking around, kind of keep an eye on them, blend into the crowd Ooh. as best you can. Uh, you kind of walk around a little bit, trot, trot around. Uh, who's going to say Moel? I'll scream it out. Make a performance check. Uh, what is that, charisma? Charisma. Yeah. Lack thereof. Yeah, I, I got, I got none. Uh, yeah, I got none. Eh, that's a raw check. See what can Maybe you'll roll good. Maybe I'll have a cracked eye. How about that? <laughs> All right. Let's... You froze. Did you freeze again? I think. So. Oh, this is spent. <laughs> <laughs> Mid roll. That's a dumb one. So he yells out, "Moel." Uh, Trouser, as you stand there, you see the, you kind of like, uh, see one of the bugbears, like the one closest to you, kind of look over, um, and he kind of like, the other one's talking to the, to the guy, and he kind of like pats him on the shoulder, and he's like, what's going on? Um, all right. Okay, so. Sorry. All right, so what the fuck just happened? The closest one turned around and uh, tapped his buddy who was speaking to someone on the shoulder and they're kind of looking in that direction, I think. Yeah, to... and they kind of look over and he, he, as he kind of does that, he kind of like, nah, whatever, and he shakes the guy's hand, they walk off uh, down the street. Uh, actually kind of like, you're kind of looking at them this way and they're kind of walking this way along the street. Nice. So it's one of, one of those two we're thinking? Yes. Maybe we uh, cool, pull it back and, you know, stealthily uh, take both? knock them out. Both. Oh, three. Yeah. three. Right. I, have a, I have a net. We could, we could knock two of them <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Drag them through the street like a fucking tiny <laughs> <Yeah>. eight. <laughs> <laughs> Give them the whole uh, Heston. Give them the full Heston. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, you, you kind of take a second and, like, they, uh, they kind of walk off uh, down the street a little ways. Uh, it looks like they're going up into a, a merchant shop. Um, and they actually walk into the shop. Ooh. Okay. How many again? Oh, uh, there's three bugbears. Three. And, and they're all armed. They, they all definitely have mm. weapons. All right, well, look, we're, we're not trying. We're just yeah. not necessarily going to resort to violence here, right? It's true. This is true. It's expected. It's expected, but... Um, all right. Well, let's let's go with. Maybe we can have a private word inside the shop. And we can close the door and kind of keep it contained. Well, I mean, this is all supposed to happen at seven, apparently. Yeah, it's, so it's like barely it's, after six. Yeah, there's some time. I mean, should we follow the time frame? Well, we mean kill him exactly at seven. Not the yeah, word. I thought we weren't. Yeah. Sorry, 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 oh, sorry, no, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I mean, uh. Of approach. <laughs> the cost. <laughs> the cost of at seven. Yes. The okay. Cost seven, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, at least oh. we found him in this fucking city. Yeah. I we were gonna so do that. You, uh, who's gonna, are, you said one of you are gonna walk into. Are you gonna walk into the business? Yeah, I could block the door. I mean, I mean <laughs> you're gonna know it's us. I'm the one that bought them the drinks, and mm -hmm. you guys are obvious. <sighs> you know what? I'm just gonna go in and scope it out. I'll do it. I'll do it. Norbert, you you roll on up to this uh, this business here, and it, it's like a it's a kind of a merchant uh, merchant shop, kind of general goods, if you will, um, and uh, called the Silver Veil. And you, you roll on in, and you can see um, the three bugbears are talking to uh, there's a two a two individuals there, uh, a man and a woman, and. Uh, they're kind of no. Do, uh, do you want to try to be inconspicuous, or how do you want to kind of approach when you go in? 
I'm just going to walk in as if I'm a patron. Okay. Ah. Going in casually. And yeah. uh, walk in like the old place. The, the man. And could... maybe I'll raise my eyebrows when the bugbears turn to look at me. I'll turn and look at them and kind of be like, oh. Like, one of them kind of looks at you. And guys. One of them kind of looks at you and the, one, the, he kind of pats them on the shoulder in the middle and the one looks over and he goes, kind of gives you a nod. He's like, he's all right. Yeah, uh, nod back. All right. And um, the the man kind of walks over to you that they were talking to. And he says, oh, he's like, please, welcome to the Silver Veil. What uh, what kind of goods might help a gentleman like you with? Uh, I think um, this is a bar, right? Or is this a merchant? General it's a merchant. merchant. Oh, okay. Ah, I just was, uh, I, I look around real quick and take in what kind of stuff are they? Uh, it's doing? kind of general goods. So it's like, uh, Grains, um, maybe like like tar. Do you have any medical? Do you have any medical supplies? Any uh, medical any, supplies? Uh, yeah, any any like medical kits, uh, traveling Bandages. medical kits, we would, medical tools. I, I could. We definitely have the stuff to make something like that, but I mean, we don't really deal in smaller quantities like that. If that's true. No, I understand. What do you what do you, you typ- what do you typically deal in? Well, we also deal in like trade goods, so tars, uh, lumber on occasion, but uh, cloth bolts, stuff like that. Mm-hmm, right. Uh, right Mana gaming here, Dom. I got a feeling this is a front for maybe some of the illegal shit that uh, uh, Mo- Moel is uh, dealing in. Got the gimp in the back kind of idea. Well, I think he's. I mean, out of the game, meta game. Uh, I think he's 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 just shaking these businesses down. He's going down his regular route to scare up protection money for. Uh, could be, could be. But I mean, it's possible. Um, I like the might, suspi- yeah. I, I like the suspicion towards everything. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're like you're like the uh, Darley Colombo. I like to imagine <laughs> Zog Chen is like. I got so, a lollipop. Yeah, yeah. So back to the. <laughs> So back to the game. That was, game. Was, uh, that was, uh, that was Kojak. Oh, uh, Kojak. Yeah, yeah, the Greek guy, Tele, Tele, Tele Savalas. Yeah, that guy was awesome. So yeah. you, know, you, you, oh. kind of, you kind of stand there and uh, you're talking to the guy and he's like, yeah, no, we just deal with kind of, whatever kind of trade goods come on through. Um, opportun- we're a little opportunistic, but nothing spe- it's kind of nice not to specialize. I think it's interesting. Oh, right. I was just, uh, I was just by the caravans, uh, Mr. Avini's. Oh, work yeah. with him to see the first yeah, yeah, like he's I, like it's kind of when they're in town, it's kind of slow. Really, piece of yeah, work. Uh, that they guy. kind of shut it down, and, this, and then even then, they they know they can kind of. They got some pay. They got some good payoffs. They got deep pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. We've heard. Hmm. Uh, all right. Um, well, I mean, if you're not dealing anything small, it's good to know. I'm just kind of uh, looking around. Oh, I appreciate stuff, it, my friend. So. But what yeah, thanks anyway. What are uh, they doing? And then the, I look the over the And they, the, the woman kind of hands them like a, a small, a very small coin purse. And they, they nod and they kind of walk out. And as they're walking out, the, the one in the middle, the one that was doing the talking, kind of says, uh, he, uh, he kind of taps um, the gentleman you're talking to on, on the, sh- he kind of taps the gentleman uh, as you walk away. And he says, uh, Lars, this guy's all right. Make sure you treat him well. And, uh, hey, thanks, the, man. He says, he says, uh, Lars kind of like, you know, tips his hat and says, uh, thank, thank, thank you, Moel, as the guy walks out. So you got an ID on the guy now. Yeah. All right, yo, so follow him out. And when you walk out, knock him point out. To him, oh. And me and the trouns have got him. We're like, grab, we'll grapple him and pull him away. Choo, kind of thing. It is Just like, to pull it into it an alley 15. or something. It is 615. 615. It is six, uh, oh, no, not quite seven o'clock. So as you guys walk, as he walks out, uh, you guys see the three uh, book bears walk out, uh, and uh, Norvar kind of makes his exit a little hastily, kind of points the one in the middle, um, as they kind of walk away, going to do more collections. Okay. Now uh, I I kind of mosey up to these guys. Was like that dude's pretty cool. I don't know, man. I think we need to approach him. Yeah. In a not okay. confrontive way, non combative way. I'm gonna ask you though, I'm gonna ask him to talk to us. Okay. Okay. So I I I kind of uh head over after them and I'm all, hey Moel, 
you jog, you start jogging over. You're like, blah, blah. He's like, you know, like, yeah, Norvar, right? Yeah, Norvar. Yeah, I appreciate Listen, it. Do you have, I know he's like, he's not with... stopping. He's actually, like, he's on walking as you talk, as you're talking. He's just kind of, kind of, yeah, I know. And I'm, I'm kind of trying to keep up with the bugbear. I was yeah. like, hey, um, if you get a minute, I know you're working, but uh, my friends and I would like to speak to you when you have an opportunity. He says, uh, yeah, I got an opportunity. How about? Um... I swear to God, if you say seven o'clock, <laughs> he says. How um, about seven? <laughs> he says, um, "Well, I got me and the boys here. Got to finish up our, our collection rounds. We're on a strict schedule." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, how about uh, tomorrow morning? Uh, I'm always looking for an opportunity. How about tomorrow morning? We meet at the uh, out back behind the loaf. Normally, I would say. That would be fine, but I actually think this is something I need. We need to talk to you about sooner. sooner. Like it's in the next 45 minutes. Like your life depends on it. Kind of gives you a weird eye and says, uh, I give him a weird eye back. My name is a little little full tonight. Uh, You really want to talk to me about this? Your your life depends on it. Cheerless is not there, thank God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, he, uh, he says, let me finish up my rounds here, uh, and I can spare you a minute. It's after a minute would be fine. Uh, where do you want to meet? He's all 20, meet 30 me. minutes? He's like, uh, uh, <laughs> meet, me out, meet me outside the, uh, uh, we'll call it the, uh, the Grand Range. There's a small, okay. small diner down the road. This is my last stop. All right, perfect. Um, and then I, I kind of go, just you. Okay. Promise. See you then. All right. I call it at that. Okay. Nice. Well done. So you see the you see him and the boys kind of walk off and they they go into another business. And if you guys, are you gonna tail them or do you want to go to this place first or something? No, nah, I'm gonna tail them. You guys tail them for a while, um, and they go into business after business. Uh, it seems like clockwork almost, like how fat, how they kind of go in and do this stuff. Uh, it takes the time to talk to people. People seem kind of happy to pay them almost. It's kind of shocking. Um, usually people are a little more resistant to, to protection money, but these guys seem on the up and up. So as you guys kind of, uh, they walk out of this uh, this one place, the last place kind of, and they he hands over the bags. He hands over like their uh, their bags of money now, essentially, to the other two. And the other two kind of uh, start, they all kind of part ways. And you see um, Moel, as you identified him, go into uh, uh, what do I call it? Cragworks? What did I call it? The diner? Grand, Grand Range. Oh, it's yeah. our Grand, Grand Range. Range. Grand Range. Yeah, yeah. It, wasn't, it wasn't even close to the Cragworks. It wasn't even close. I looked at the wrong line. Uh, yeah. And so, yeah, he walks on, he goes on in and um, comes on out with a it looks like a kind of a like a hot. I don't want to say a hot pocket, but like he's got a meal in his hand. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so he's a gamer. He's a okay. game. He's a gamer. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, he kind of walks out and sees the three of you standing there. Uh, they kind of gesture to a uh, uh, like, side alley. He's like, you got, you got. He's like, you got, you got a minute. What do you need? Oh, you trust me. We're gonna need more than a minute. Come with me. We, we want to be off the street. Like, let's go to a side place. It kind of gives you. And I was, and I do this. I put my hands up. It's like. Oh, kind of looks it around. He says, "I don't got, I don't got that much time. I got, I got a place to be here soon." Listen, you... buddy, there are people who want you dead. You want to talk to us? Make a persuasion check with uh, advantage. Come on. Uh, thir- thirteen. <laughs> Jeez. I know. It's a rough life, dude. Um, he kind of looks and he says, he kind of says, like, he starts walking towards the end of the, the diner and says, you, you got, I give you our three minutes. What do you need? Who's after somebody me? tried to hire, listen, somebody's No, no, I, I break us. in. I break in because I'm, I'm tired of this guy's bullshit. So we don't need anything, brother. You need us. Because you're going to get whacked in about 10 minutes. <laughs> He's like, whacked? He's like, Who's gonna whack me? Your life is in danger, Moel. You are for your friend, uh, uh, my friend. 
he's like, I'm part of the untamed. No one would touch yeah. us here. You were. Someone you is were. interested in, someone in your own gang is interested in um, ending your life. We know this because they, we they, approached, to do it. they approached us and we don't want to do it. Why are you telling me all this? Your we reputation, you. your reputation just, around here seems uh, not bad. And if we, were <laughs> no, if, we were no, if we were a different party, we probably would just kill you. But we're not those type of people. As you've met Norvar, he is a... Noble. <laughs> Norvar, he is a... Uh, Paladin, uh, uninterested in, in redeeming his uh, his own name, so we, we thought we would talk to you instead. Yeah, he's like confused here. He's like, look, man, so all I know is that there's people in your party, in your group, that want you gone. Can you think of anything that you might have done to piss off people in your own group? They and they they told you they're they gonna kill me. me? We've been given, we were given instructions to kill you ourselves. We're not murderers. Perhaps you're too ambitious. Perhaps you, you've... Uh... So, so, so instead, you're, instead of killing me, you're just going to shake me down. Is that, is that your angle? I'm not shaking you down. If I was shaking you down, you'd be shook down. You'd be dead. Come <laughs> <laughs> oh, You'd be shook. Look, man, shook. we're new in town. We're not here to fuck with the untamed. We're not here to mess with your guys' politics. We're looking for somebody. We're looking for people for people who come into town who might be trying to get out of town. It's wizardy types that are are moving around trying to keep a low profile. That's the only reason I'm fucking here. But right. apparently, your people want to kill you, and they're looking for people to hire to kill you. So now, listen. If I can avoid killing you, yeah. it's a, it's, that's a better day. He's like, you want to keep playing fucking games and things. Nah, like, he's like, I get it. I get all it. Right, all right, like, all right, look, I'm just I, saying. I understand. I understand the game. It's just put you up to this, right? I go, I shrug. Okay. Make a, make a deception check, Norvar. Pretty good liar, no? Uh-oh. I usually am. Okay. He says, uh, Hold uh, on. Uh, it's, I, the total is uh, 10. He says, yeah. It's just put you up to this. He's like, He's like, look, he's like, he's, he, he's got kind of a shit moment. He's like, all right, I'm leaving town tonight. I'm getting Sorry. out of here. I got to, I got to, I think it's just caught, I think it's just, uh, it's just must have caught up on my side hustle here. <sighs> you make sure that they, they don't know I'm around anymore. And I'll, uh, they'll never see me again. How do you plan on getting out of town? Surreptitiously. He's like, fuck. He's like, this is going to go. He's like, I don't know. I, I'm going to have to figure this out. He's like, damn, I didn't, how the hell did they know? How the hell did they figure this out? He's like, he's like kind of freaking out. What were you doing? What did you do to get them so pissed off at you? Yeah, he's like, well, I, I've been... We got certain things we don't like. We, we like. we like to keep control of town. We want to keep it safer for our families and everyone else's families here. Avini? Huh? Is Avini involved? Avini? Alvini? Oh, Alvini? he's like, how do, you, uh, how do you know about Alvini? It's been a busy fucking day. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, yeah, he's like, I got to, I've been, I've been making sure that the untamed don't take a too close of a look at Albini. Albini. Mm. That's the name. Um, yeah, is that part of the hustle? Because, like, here's the deal, man. Like, I don't care what you got going. We're just looking for certain types. Do you know anything about anybody coming in? Town or yeah. Smuggle things through yeah. currently that is unusual. We don't, we usually don't. He's like, look, smuggling people into town ain't. ain't doesn't go over too well, but if they pay well enough, we'll untamed will do it. Yeah. Is that what you're asking about? That's exactly what I'm asking about. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Yeah, Stis and I don't really see eye to eye on, on stuff like that. But yeah, they're they help they help bring some people in a few uh, a few days ago. Oh yeah? 
You yeah. know where those people might be? Not my that was that's not my uh jurisdiction. Do you know anyone who would know where those people are? Because those people are definitely my issue. You're not my issue. They are. I think that's fair. Can you let me walk here. And, yeah. Uh, I'll give you some information. Okay. Yeah. I don't have any beef with you, man. He's like, I'll be gone. We also need um, proof. We need to make it look like you died. He kind of looks at he kind of looks at the, the centaur and he's like to make it clean, otherwise they'll come looking for us. Or if you're found, word of you is found, our lives will be in danger. Yeah, he kind of looks and he's like, all right. Maybe a personal item, maybe your hand. I, I kind of just joke, you know, <laughs> like morbid joke. No, that's where you thought you were going with it. Yeah. But he is like, shit. I noticed you're joking and I, and I put my sword back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you want a finger? I'll get you a finger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you want a toe, I'll give you a toe. I'll give you my five. <laughs> we'll watch a sub checks action on here. I think if you successfully get the hell out of here right now, you'll be fine. But other than that, after that, I can't guarantee anything. Uh, caravan ain't leaving in the morning. I can't imagine he wouldn't want me along, but uh, he'll, be, he'll be pissed about the, the the game no longer going. Um, all right. Something. Yeah, he's like, if anyone's gonna know, it's gonna be Stis. Stis would know. Uh, maybe some of her, maybe some of some of her buddies would know. I don't know. Maybe, um, maybe uh, U six or uh, uh, Faya Volt, but I don't know. U six and U six or Faya Volt. Faya Volt. Yeah. All right. He was like, <sighs> well, we're gonna need we're gonna need something to earn their trust to get this information. So we need to prove you're dead, but while you live. Uh, how about the collection? He's like, he gave the collection to the other guys. Yeah, it will have. It might have to be a. He's like, I got a hand. Uh, yeah, it probably. It how about the eye? Hand. Eye, perhaps. Come on. The eye, find the eye. <laughs> um, it kind of like, it's like shit. Because uh, the ear won't be good enough. Give you a. Is that Clash of the Titans, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Find the eye. <laughs> I'll give you a. He's like. I'll give you a toe. We want a two. With a toe, <laughs> guys. I, well, I just, I kind of look, I said, do you think a toe, if we gave Sis a toe and said you're dead, do you think that's good enough? Do you think she would believe our word that you Does she died? need? Is she going to need evidence or do you just need to disappear? You know her better than we do. She's going to want to see uh, evidence. Mm -hmm. I'm like shaking. I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a tough room, man. It's a tough room. Well, I guess yeah, I gotta take your toe. He, he knows. He knows. He, he knows. One of the, he points to the alley behind. Um, the range and he's like let's go do it let's get this over with All what right. are we taking the sand no it's a toe toe come toe. down there <laughs> your leg gets stuck in a toe what's up there yakuza just let it calm down <laughs> i mean okay I, I mean i mean do we i'm getting okay. surgical with this bitch what are we taking what are we taking i, I can heal him i can heal him after the toe is taken off okay so how do you get the toe off who's gonna do Nick. it i mean me, me right, or something. Dog turns into the brutality. Yeah. So you, how are you gonna do it? I'm gonna do chop it with my hand. <laughs> with my hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm, gonna, gonna, I'm gonna say no. Yeah. Uh, just take a dagger. I do, uh, I do flurry, a flurry of blows on, on his toe. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't like give, let's give him a leather strap to bite on. Yeah, and some uh, <laughs> some uh, some and ales. I tell him, I'll tell him we'll make it a ale. clean cut, and then I can heal it right away. Okay. His rope to bite on, and his. So no, you, you can hand Zog Chen like a, a short sword or a dagger, and now you want to yeah. chop it off. Yeah, I oh, mean, do you? I, I'll do it, but if you got I'll it, chop it, there you go. It's right. done. So you, yeah, you chop it, ah, ah, and then I heal it immediately. I put it my hand, I hand on him. I make sure to get some blood on me. Yeah, you you get you, like you um. Well, we gotta, you gotta make it look real, dude. You gotta make it look real. I'm escorting the bugbear blood off my knuckles you, on you his toe. Like, after he spread blood on him, I'm like, you have to walk through town. Uh, anyway, bloody I feel, 
I heal him as immediately as the splatter. Toe goes, it. So. so you blow some points of you blow some points of your um, lay on hands and and you heal. And, oh, he's like, all right. He kind of stands up. And he's kind of he's like, yeah, he's like, I'll be gone. Your your brave bugbear. Is there anything else you could tell us that would help us moving mm-hmm. forward with both the Untamed, Abini, and anything, anything you got before you go? Don't ever bring the fight to the door. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Don't ever be found. I trade him a bit of ass. All right, good luck to you, Bugbear. Yeah. Find a good disguise, Moel. Make, make sure you actually leave town. Yeah, he's like, trust me, I'm trying to, I'm going to get out tonight. We hope we do meet you again so we can say classic Moel. <laughs> <laughs> Funny thing is, the Moel I knew only had, only had the eight toes also. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you, so you got uh, you got two bugbear toes. Okay. Oh, we got both. Yeah, yeah, you got both. The best digits. The best digits, yeah. Your choice. <laughs> they were not the big toes, but you got choice toes. So that, Mo- that Moel was a you know fair fellow. <laughs> He's alright. I don't know. Right. I think they're all a bunch of assholes. Listen, I'm getting real tired of investigating this <laughs> fucking town. So apparently Stis and her people know. Uh, it sounds like uh, a Benti. A Benti? It's, Albini? Um, Albini? Albini. Albini. Albini is involved. Steve Albini. Then Albini. So Albini's involved. Stis knows where they're at. Mm-hmm. Seems like we now have a place to start. And I'm starting to get a little tired of asking questions and spending money. So what do you guys think? I am worried that uh, I'm worried that he, he will be discovered as he escapes. Do we want to? Yeah, I'm going to be real. This guy, this guy sounds like a chump. Well, do we have, <laughs> do you want to wait till tomorrow to tell him that he's gone? Or do we want to try and report that he's gone now so they don't look? I would, uh, I would do it now. Don't we need to, uh, they're going to ask questions like where his body lies, where we buried his body, uh, how he easily no, died, and how little we were hurt. No one ordering a hit wants to know what to do with the body. Is there a bot? Yeah, no, they're not going to want to know. Okay. Um, we, Don't, we, let's yeah. just go find them. The body's gone. We disposed of it. We threw it in. We buried it in the sewer. We took it. We got rid of it. It's gone. And instead they of the asked, head, we brought the We're not going to talk about it, and we're going to bring... Two toes? You cut off. We cut off two toes. toes. Okay, we cut off two toes. Oh, we call it a bugbear dozen. (laughs) (laughs) All right, let's go head over to the bugbears and see if we can find Stis. All right. So you guys head back over to uh, the little little area, and uh, we'll pick it up next time. Awesome. uh, Nice. We'll we'll hopefully have other. We'll have hopefully Andrea can return, and we'll have uh, other folks do the talking too. I was surprisingly <laughs> handled in a very good way. Good job, Norvar. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Right. <laughs> I liked them. We did. Like, it was it was funny because we're so like, what are we doing? But I mean, like, what would we do? We're in a new town. Yeah. We don't yes. really have a lot of money. We're trying to find a yep. lead. It is going to be a lot of wandering around and asking a lot of questions and almost getting into trouble. And people yeah. sp- spoke well of him. You know, he wasn't like this, like, shakedown or where the town necessarily disliked him or, you know, he tipped well. Like, he wasn't. Yeah. So that did convince me that maybe, you know, it was, a, it was another agenda why they wanted him dead. Well, it sounds like he had a side hustle. He's involved. Yeah. Uh, they, they have a disagreement as far as like, well, one, they have a disagreement of shipping people in and out. They definitely smuggled people in. So there's our first lead to that. And he's but helping, then, he's helping Alvini stay low too. Like, which is sort of a, you know. <laughs> good time. Yeah. Good time. No, it's good yeah. mystery forming Ooh. here. Intrigue. Intrigue. We got, we got uh, yeah, Kojak. We got. <laughs> <laughs> we had we had bad law and order with me and Morbarn earlier. <laughs> I like the idea of like of, of, of like our our Dwargar wearing this cod piece and having a lollipop. Yeah. Who loves you, baby? <laughs> Who loves you, baby? And that's where he keeps the lollipop in his cod. Oh, right. oh wow! Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> All right.